shut up. We're putting it on the market. They know it's sterilizing you. And all these CEOs and all these bankers, most of them aren't in on the larger program. They're eating it, too. This is hurting all of us. If you're a bureaucrat, if you're an FBI agent, if you're a cop, if you're a CPS worker, you're an enforcer for this system. Did you get the memo not to drink the 150-plus chemicals on average, in some cases over 300? They put from fertilizer manufacturing and aluminum manufacturing, aluminum production, purification. They take that toxic waste, mercury, lead, arsenic, hundreds of other chemicals, sodium fluoride, uh, all these different acid complexes of fluoride, and they dump it in your water. It attacks your brain, your glands, calcifies in your bones, attacks fertility. Oh, look, spider goats start work on Wonderweb. Uh, what is that out of? Is that out of uh, the, uh, looks like the London Telegraph. Yeah, it is. Telegraph. I recognize all the papers. That's the London Telegraph. See, spider goats. Folks, we're in Buck Rogers, but it's a nightmare system. We're being slowly killed, slowly exterminated. And the, the, you know, the people in pizza chains are told by their distributor, hey, we've got some low price irradiated stuff here for you. And they just put it on the shelves. They ship it to your, to your house. They deliver it to you to where you can't even get a packet of pepper. Now, that hasn't been irradiated, losing its food value. And that's bare minimum. What does irradiation do, according to Marcola.com, a very trusted medical doctor source? Because it increases the shelf life of the food, it is used in large centralized facilities. Irradiation encourages globalization and consolidation of the food production, distribution, and retailing industries, and allows you to be fed food that isn't as fresh. Research dating the 1950s has revealed a wide range of problems with animals that ate irradiated food, including... Uh, premature death and a rare form of cancer, reproductive dysfunction, chromosomal abnormal abnormalities, liver damage, low weight gain, and vitamin deficiencies. And then they have all this sourced, a full medical source from the government's own documents. Show them the sourcing on that. Irradiation destroys vitamins, essential fatty acids, and other nutrients in foods, sometimes significantly. I mean, it just goes on and on. The process destroys 80% of vitamin A in eggs, but the FDA nonetheless legalized irradiation in these products. Goes on. There's all the sources. Absolute fact. So, again, I'm only giving you a very tiny fraction of this. Let's now play a clip from MSNBC Hardball with their CNBC co-host coming on, the info girl, the info babe, telling you, hey, what's wrong with lead in toys? Here it is. Coming further, coming I think closer. people should be careful what they wish for on China. You know, if China were to revalue its currency, or China is to start making, say, toys that don't have lead in them, or food that isn't poisonous. Can you get a little closer to the camera? My, what is it? Is it coming in closer? No, coming, coming closer. Right. Their coming costs closer. of production are going to go up, and that means prices at Walmart here in the United States are going to go up, too. Can you get a little closer to the camera? Yeah, the particular My, clip they it? found, I appreciate closer. it. No, that's coming, not the right coming. clip. That's some joke clip. Uh, I know we wrote an article at PrisonPlanet.com. That is Matthews, and, and he did say, come in closer. And then she goes on to say, we've got to go ahead and have the poison toys. But then they, as a joke, put that clip back in. Let's do another search on that or ask Watson. I want the original unedited clip for people. Okay, here's, a, here's another clip. Uh, this is CBS News in Austin, but this went out nationwide. It's what they call a news package. The news is satellited to them with a script. The local news readers read it. But this went out nationwide on all CBS TV channels telling you that a government study tells you that mercury is good for your brain when it's the most deadly heavy metal attacking brain cells. Here it is. Here's tonight's medical headlines with Medical Watch reporter Seema Mather. <laughs> Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives in vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. Okay, now here is Fox News telling you how great it is that, that Japan is looking at lithium in the water. And again, this is already all going on. You're now being told how great it is because the alternative media is exposing it. So they're saying, yeah, we're doing weather modification. Yeah, we're setting up a world government. Yeah, we're putting stuff in your water. You're now being, yeah, we're listening to your cell phones by law with a system that can track you and listen to you even when the phone's turned off. Yeah, there's, oh, yeah, it's all happening. Here it is. 
It's 832 now with only two weeks left of 2009. We're taking a look back at some of the most interesting health care discoveries of the past year. Joining us is Fox 9 medical expert Dr. Arkel Giorgio to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first, the U.S. has been adding a fluoride to its public water supply for decades, and of course, to prevent tooth decay. Well, now researchers from Japan Get pause. are suggesting that we add lithium. Get so pause. Why is Back it up a few seconds. Notice that she says, eh, we put fluoride in, eh, we put stuff in table salt, eh, lithium. You're being sold on this. I mean, this is, imagine 50 years ago, a science fiction movie where they're putting stuff in your water and food. Well, they did write a science fiction book, 1932, Brave New World, where they do drug you. And Aldous Huxley, who wrote it, his brother was a head eugenicist. He gave a 1962 speech at Berkeley saying, this is actually our plan. We are doing this. My book is nonfiction. Finish the clip. Prevent tooth decay. Well, now researchers from Japan are suggesting that we add lithium. So why is that? Well, they're actually not suggesting it, but they're certainly looking into it. Lithium is a medication that in prescription doses treats mood disorders in people with bipolar disorder or manic depressive illness. And what these researchers found in Japan is that it's, uh, lithium is present in trace amounts in the normal water supply in some communities. And in those communities, they have a lower suicide rate. And so they're really investigating whether trace amounts of lithium... And they have lower sex drive and are obese and have brain damage. Enough to really, in a, in a positive way, without having the bad effects. Oh, of a positive way. To really affect the mood and decrease the suicide rate. Very interesting hmm. concept. You know, it's the same reason why we put um, iodine and salt, fluoride and water. Um, there's there's many different examples of. All right. Put trace so there you are. It goes on and on how great it is and how wonderful it is and how we need it. And we did find the unedited clip on YouTube of of, of, the, of the MSNBC host. It's a CNBC host on MSNBC with Chris Matthews. And he's sitting there, and she's talking about how great it is to do this. You're being sold that poison is good. You're being told mercury is good for you. You're being told irradiation is good for you. You're being told GMO crops is, are, is good for you. As all these new diseases pop up, as all this illness takes place, they get to kill you off early before you get Social Security, suck your savings out in medical care. The average doctor has no idea this is happening. We are all living in a nightmare science fiction control grid. Wake up, people. Have the mental strength to admit what's happening.